Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the medication known as upadacitinib, commonly recognized by its brand name, Rinvoc. As always, this discussion is for educational purposes. If you have health-related concerns or questions, it's essential to consult with a medical professional. Description Upadacitinib, marketed under the brand name Rinvoc, is a slow-release tablet designed to treat specific autoimmune disorders. The FDA first approved it in 2019 for rheumatoid arthritis, and its uses have since expanded to include types of psoriatic arthritis, eczema, and ulcerative colitis. This medication belongs to a class of drugs called Janus kinase inhibitors, Jackie. These inhibitors work by blocking the action of enzymes known as Janus kinases, which play a role in inflammation. By inhibiting these enzymes, upadacitinib helps reduce inflammation and manage symptoms. Uses Upadacitinib is prescribed for Adults with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis when one or more TNF blockers have been ineffective or not tolerated. Adults with active psoriatic arthritis with a similar history of TNF blocker use. Adults and children, 12 years and older, with moderate to severe eczema, atopic dermatitis, that hasn't responded to previous treatments. Adults with moderate to severe ulcerative colitis who haven't had success with TNF blockers. Warnings Upadacitinib can lead to severe side effects. It affects the immune system, potentially reducing its ability to combat infections. Some individuals have experienced serious infections while on this medication, including tuberculosis, TB, and infections caused by bacteria, fungi, or viruses. There have been instances where these infections have been fatal. Before starting upadacitinib, it's crucial to undergo testing for TB and to be monitored for TB symptoms during treatment. Additionally, there's an increased risk of developing shingles, herpes zoster. The drug may also increase the risk of certain cancers, heart problems, and blood clots. Before taking this medicine. Before starting upadacitinib, inform your healthcare provider about any infections you've had, if you're a smoker, if you've had heart issues, liver or kidney problems, or if you've had stomach issues like diverticulitis or ulcers. It's also essential to discuss any medications you're currently taking, as upadacitinib can interact with other drugs. Side Effects Upadacitinib can cause various side effects. Common side effects for rheumatoid arthritis patients include upper respiratory tract infections, shingles, herpes simplex virus infections, bronchitis, nausea, cough, fever, and acne. For atopic dermatitis patients, common side effects include respiratory infections, acne, herpes infections, headache, cough, allergic reactions, and fever. Ulcerative colitis patients might experience respiratory infections, acne, rash, flu, shingles, and increased cholesterol levels. It's essential to be aware of these potential side effects and consult your doctor if you notice any unusual symptoms. Interactions Upadacitinib can interact with other medications. It's crucial to inform your healthcare provider about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you're currently taking. Specifically, be sure to mention any medicines for fungal infections, bacterial infections, neurological disorders, or any medications that affect your immune system. Dosage The dosage of upadacitinib will depend on the condition being treated, age, liver or kidney function, and other medications being taken. Some conditions might require an induction period followed by a maintenance dose. Always follow your healthcare provider's recommendations regarding dosage. Avoid. While on upadacitinib, it's recommended to avoid receiving live vaccines. Before starting treatment, ensure you're up to date with all immunizations, in line with current guidelines. FAQ. Is upadacitinib safe for children? Upadacitinib has been found safe and effective for children 12 years and older weighing at least 88 pounds, 40 kilograms, with atopic dermatitis. However, its safety and effectiveness in children with juvenile idiopathic arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, or those under 12 years with atopic dermatitis are not well established. Closing That concludes our overview of upadacitinib. Remember, this information is intended for educational purposes and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for joining us.